10 immutable fat loss tips. Now, if you're like most people, when you're searching for fitness and training and nutrition information, uh, you'll likely go onto the old Google search or you'll search through Facebook. And what you'll find is 75% absolute bullshit and 25% research-based information. So this brings me on to my 10 immutable fat loss tips. 10 tips that I like to think all fitness professionals would agree are great tips for fat loss. Fat loss tip number one is to have a sufficient amount of protein. Uh, we like to say um, more than 1.3 grams per kilo of body weight for active individuals. And obviously this depends on the amount of muscle tissue uh, you've got, so this can be a lot more. But if you haven't got a sufficient amount of protein and you're, and you're breaking down fat, then likelihood is you're also going to break down proteins, you're going to break down muscle tissue as well. And this is something we don't want. We want to be burning fat, not, not breaking down muscle. Um, it's not just about losing weight, it's about having a all around better, healthier, more optimal body composition. So make sure you have a sufficient amount of protein. Fat loss tip number two is to burn more calories than you are consuming. Now you can do this by increasing your activity level, go for a nice little walk, or you can just simply eat less than you're currently eating but don't go crazy what happens a lot is people drop their calories too low and it's just not sustainable their their hormones deregulate and they feel like crap that's not something you want to do you want to be feeling uh, when you're training and you're investing your life and your body composition you gonna be feeling great about this you you want your energy levels to be through the roof drop your calories slightly if you want to burn fat or simply increase your activity level. Fat loss tip number three is to lift weight. Heavy weight, a decent amount of weight. Obviously, somebody else, one person's heavy is different to another person's heavy, but you do want to lift weight that you find heavy. You're not going to gain muscle tissue uh, spending an hour on the cross trainer. And the reason you want to gain muscle tissue is the more muscle tissue you have, the faster your metabolic rate, because your body needs to fuel that new founded muscle. Fat loss tip number four is to control your carbohydrate intake. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of fuel and you don't need your body's main source of fuel if you're sat on your ass behind a desk all day. So time your carbohydrates well, have them in and around your workout to fuel your workout, to optimize your workout and to optimize your performance. Fat loss tip number five is to have plenty of sleep. When you are sleeping, your testosterone levels are at their highest and your cortisol levels, stress levels, are at their lowest. Make sure you get plenty of sleep. Fat loss tip number six is to drink a sufficient amount of water. We like to say around about two to three liters a day. Obviously, this depends on your activity levels, what country you're in. You know, there's loads of uh, other factors, but two to three liters is generally about right. What we find is when people are thirsty, they often think they're hungry, but in actual fact, they're just a bit dehydrated and they simply need a drink. Fat loss tip number seven is to make time. We all tend to think that we haven't got time to train. I often make excuses not to train, I'm not gonna lie. You know, uh, we naturally fill our days with activities and work and all this other stuff, you know, family, family time, and we, uh, we neglect ourselves. It's just something we do. We, we focus on other things but actually invest in that time long-term is gonna make a massive, massive difference. So make the time. Track progress. Now this is a massive one. Whether you are uh, doing, whether you are taking photos of yourself, whether you are uh, using a measuring tip, whether you are tracking this by a belt buckle, a dress size, whatever it is, uh, you do want to track if your goals are fat loss. Uh, you tracking this stuff, uh, is going to massively motivate you. And if you do find that you're not getting the results you want, then that puts you in a position where you can actually reassess everything. You can go, okay, maybe I do need to tweak my calorie intake slightly. Maybe I need to ch change up my macros. Maybe I need to increase my activity level. All these other questions, all these other factors, you do need to take them into consideration. And you won't be able to take those into consideration unless you are tracking. Fat loss tip number nine is to focus on increasing your strength and muscle tissue in the gym. Outside the gym, you can focus on dropping fat by controlling your, your calorie intake and uh, maybe going for the odd extra gentle walk and all this, all these other factors. 
but in the gym you've got all that equipment you can in, you can spend that time increasing your strength increasing your muscle tissue and actually investing in your body because like i mentioned earlier the more muscle tissue you have the faster your metabolic rate and it's, it's inevitably, inevitably going to result in you having a an athletic type physique rather than just a small skinny version of yourself which not everyone wants and finally fat loss tip number 10 stay consistent so this this is a massive one the in terms of actually dropping fat in terms of getting to the the body composition you want to get to it will likely take time so that's where consistency is the key the the difference between somebody who's in great shape and somebody who's not in great shape is generally they've been doing it a lot longer so consistency is the key consistency is going to uh, allow you to be in a position where you can see what works for you and what doesn't work for you uh, and you can make them uh, realistic changes you don't you, know, you don't have to make massive changes straight away and put yourself in a massive caloric deficit you don't need to do that you need to make simple changes that are realistic that you can do long term and stick at those and stay consistent with that and eventually you will get to the results you will get the results you want you will get to the body composition you want uh, it, this shit just takes time so there we have it 10 immutable fat loss tips now if you found this uh, this stuff useful then please 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 uh like and share like the page drop a comment uh whatever it is just uh just spread the word and thanks for watching